Fourth and goal. Williams will play Cal in the backfield. That was Groves in motion. Play action again. Wide open for the easy touchdown. Javante Williams. And Carolina strikes first in the battle for the bell. To the right side, but watch Williams after the fake. A lot of times the defense will lose that guy. Play action pass, and then they completely drop coverage. Coach Cutcliffe admitted to us this week the last two weeks have felt different. We'll see if that continues on this play. It will not. Jeremiah Gimmel with the sack, and down goes Bryce. Back at Wallace Wade, Kelly Stopper, Roy Philpott, Alex Chappell. Second possession for Carolina. Javante Williams already with a touchdown. He'll pick up 14 in a first down. Second-year quarterback making really good decisions. How? Looking deep, floats it long. Has a man, and the pass will be caught. It'll be first and goal for North Carolina. Emory Simmons hauls it in. He was covered by Jeremiah Lewis, but that's a gain of 51. Very good with the ball in the air. Winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. Sam Howe pulls it out, keeps it towards the pylon for the touchdown. Carolina two for two, and just like that, they're ahead by 13 points with the extra point to come. Walker to take the edge defender, but really there wasn't anyone to block until late. Williams and Carter, the only two backs on the same team, over 100 yards per game this season. There goes Michael Carter. Carter inside the 10, ushered out at the 6. First down and goal for UNC. Truly beating you by taking advantage what the defense gives. Williams already with a touchdown today. Make it number 2 for number 25. Javante Williams leads the country in total TDs. His 15th of the season. And Mac Brown's squad is rolling in this great rivalry contest. Divide zone or slice zone. He comes and kicks out a defender. To make that happen, so do the Blue Devils here. Chase Bryce, the handoff. Mateo Durant gets his first touch. And he's got a big gator. Durant off to the races. Spun down in plus territory. And that was much needed for Duke in a gain of 28 Kelly. And Duke is at their best when they do runs like that. Bryce will keep it. He'll lose three yards. Patrice Rene with a stop, his second TFL in our first quarter. He isn't going to run it very far, very fast. On third down, here comes the heat, and the pass is going to be intercepted. Day Day Hollins has it, and he is off to the races. Hollins drug down at the 21, and how about this Carolina defense flexing in our first 15 minutes on the road? coverage outside and then actually it's a zone on the back end you can see right there Hollins is just baiting the quarterback and is getting underneath that route there was pressure up inside Bryce didn't see it clearly and just throws it directly to Hollins they call that a rat trap when the corner outside is just trapping that receiver that's coming from the outside in a rare third down for Carolina Heels need 11. Out in the flats, they'll get that and a lot more. Towards the pylon, a punishing finish for Michael Carter, and he's there for the touchdown. Back out of the backfield, and then Carter just finishes by showing a bunch of shoulder pads and knee pads, and I think gets in the end zone. It's a three-point game a year ago at Keenan Stadium. As Bryce... Brought down in the backfield. Again, this time it's Desmond Evans, a freshman from Sanford, North Carolina. Continue you to slide if you're Jackson. Pankle, what appeared to be a reverse and plenty of real estate for the touchdown. So David Cutcliffe reaches into his bag of tricks and Duke's on the board. One run game. This time it's just a pitch to Pankle, the receiver in the backfield, starting at the slot position. And then he's going to just come around and catch the football. But Pinkle also caught it on a tunnel screen. It's a race for the quarterback on third and long here. Howe escapes. And how about that? The crafty Sam Howe with an easy first down as Jamerick Woods ushered him out. But Sam Howe, too easy that time for number seven. Heels perfect on fourth down so far this afternoon. Can it continue? The answer is yes. There goes Williams. Williams with an easy pass to the end zone for another touchdown. His third of the game, his 16th this season, as he continues to pace the country in that category. Williams just 
it takes advantage of a hat on a hat up front. Eliminate the penetration. They've yet to figure out how to pronounce Big Cinco's name, the quarterback for Clemson. He'll get the start in place of Trevor Lawrence, who will make the trip to South Bend, but not be allowed to participate. The dump off to Jackson, who has all kinds of real estate. And Jackson into plus territory on a play that looks too easy for the Duke offense, Kelly. First and foremost is tremendous pressure on the defense consistently. And Phil Longo and Sam Howe are in some kind of zone. I'm not sure the ACC has seen. Case in point, Javante Williams, another touchdown. And this is just simply a kind of a wrap play. You can see 63 Anderson, or excuse me, 63 Montulis that gets up and wraps around the center. 11 of 13 in his first campaign in Durham. And on the way and good. Facing a seven-man box, he'll hand it off to Deion Jackson, who I believe lost the football. And North Carolina recovers. Tar Heels have it. That's Chaz Surratt. On second and eight, he'll float it in zone. And Newsom is there. Reels it in for the touchdown. Right over Jalen Alexander. And Carolina remains white hot to start our second half. Jalen Alexander, who's a safety from that slot position. And so it's a run pass option looking to see if you gain an advantage in that inside fade route. Rolling That's incredibly field. hard to defend. You saw the previous play, the play Coming action the pass review. inside. And then it's the contested fade outside that Newsom comes down with. Does he possess the ball all the way to the ground? That, I think, is going to be the question. Alexander tried to force it out of there. You see the ball pop loose, and I think that one's coming back. Alexander, at the last moment, poked the ball loose, and it bounced back up to Daz Newsom and Kelly. It's close, but I think it touched the ground without firm control, and I would expect this to be overturned. And that is the last part of it. It's firm control, and then it's completing the catch. In this case, it's going to the ground and maintaining the control. It's not really the type of offense this season, despite David Cutcliffe taking over the play calling duties. It's built to rally from big deficits, but there goes Durant. He's got a Duke touchdown. Mateo Durant reaches the end zone on the long run, and the Blue Devils. Their second touchdown of the day, this one from 46 yards out. Exactly what we thought we would see more of, the, the two running back run game. As you saw, Noah Gray slice across as a tight end. He's basically playing the fullback role. And then it's Durant right down. Game. So you have to be able to get rid of the football, trigger it, don't take pressure, and make good decisions. As we see Sam got, get out of the pocket right here. Oh, and he throws an interception. It was picked off by Duke. Michael Carter. Duke will empty the backfield on third and seven. Bryce across the middle has first down yardage. Daryl Harding makes one man miss. And he's upended around the 46 yard line. So a big play. Renee and Surratt stopped them. Would be in control of their destiny because they still have Notre Dame and Miami on the schedule coming up in the next 45 days. So keep that in mind. And even as Javante Williams. Nearly comes up with touchdown number five, even if Notre Dame wins tonight against Clemson. Kelly Stoffer, Roy Philpott, Alex Chappell. 13 to go. Wallace Wade Outdoor Stadium. A little shake, a little bake. Michael Carter, and that's an easy touchdown. Yeah, in the divide zone or slice zone where the tight end, Walston, comes across the formation. To Maurice McIntyre, the redshirt sophomore out of Jacksonville, North Carolina. Give the Blue Devils an opportunity for another score here. Jordan Waters, edge, touchdown. 56-23. Five minutes and change remaining. 56-24. It'll be the final score. And Mac Brown, his 10th consecutive win against the Duke Blue Devils. Carolina improves to 5-2. Duke falls to 2-6. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.